Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since we have done a makeup tutorial, right? I've gotten so many requests to just bring back the makeup tutorial, so that is what we're gonna do. I love Pinterest, and something that is so viral right now, and I guess it came from TikTok, is the latte makeup trend. Let's talk about the latte makeup trend. Really all it is is neutral tone makeup. It's just tan makeup. It's makeup that is inspired by latte colors. Pages and pages and pages of latte makeup. And really, like I said, it's just neutral, camel color, tan color, coffee colored makeup. And with fall right around the corner, which is bonkers. Alexa, what's the first day of fall? In the United States, autumn begins on Saturday, September 23rd. That feels late. Doesn't that feel late, babe? September 23rd? Well, that's the actual start date. I guess so. I mean, because already I'm seeing such a trend on my blog and on Pinterest for my flaw, vlog. <laughs> for, I guess vlog is a fall blog. Um, for fall content. So this is really good for the summer fading into fall. And I think it's going to be really big with back to school, with homecoming, and um, just fall in general. So let's hop in and let's create a fall latte makeup look. I have been really taking time with my skin this summer. It's been really important and I just wanted to like get rid of the cystic acne once and for all and I feel like I finally have done that, thank the Lord, and I can do a video about that if you guys want. It's been a journey. So I'm starting off with some eye cream. This is Baggage Claim from Wander Beauty, which I really love and I'm super particular about eye creams, but we're gonna do the face first and then we'll do the eyeshadow. So the foundation that I have been loving lately is the YSL All Hours Foundation and I am the shade LW9. Um, I just think that this foundation is really, really beautiful on the skin. It's a luminous matte foundation with full coverage. Um, it's not a crazy full coverage. It's kind of more of a medium, but I'm gonna apply this and I'm gonna mix it in with a little of my e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is the liquid filter. I have shade two, which is fair light, and quite honestly, it's too light for me, but every time I go to buy it, it's sold out. If you have a makeup color that is kind of like not blending really well, or you're wearing an open shoulder top, what I think is just like a genius is to take a little pump of your foundation with a little bit of your favorite moisturizer, whatever it will be, mix it and then put it all right here. And it's just gonna blend your makeup down seamlessly and just make you look so flawless. As for concealer, I have two that I'm just absolutely loving. This one's not a surprise, it's the Age Rewind. This is the Maybelline one that I've been using for eons, but this one is newer. This is the Bye Bye Dark Spots. It's a corrector and serum from IT Cosmetics. This one I love to spot correct, and I feel like it just does a really fabulous job of color correcting, especially if you have like any redness or whatnot. So for me, I've got like a little bit right here, a little right here. The, the secret to this is not the brush on the end. I do not like that. I like to take my double-ended foundation brush from, from It Cosmetics and apply it with this as opposed to the Beauty Blender. This just removes too much product for pimples in my opinion or redness or spots that you're really trying to cover. You just really wanna just tap that into the skin and get a really soft application and then set it with your powder. Gone are the days of the triangle concealer. May it rest in peace. <laughs> I'm kind of like thrilled that that's behind us because it is very cakey around the eyes, especially for us girls who are getting older and we're getting some fine lines and stuff. The more product you put around your eyes, the cakier that you're gonna look and the more wrinkly it is. So we're gonna keep it really, really soft and natural around the eyes and just brighten as much as we can, which means no more dark circles. That's our biggest concern is no more dark circles. We wanna look awake, y'all. If y'all want an updated under eye routine video, comment and let me know because I have found some, just a few small tweaks that have just completely changed the way that my under eyes look and I feel like it's made a world of difference for real. Off camera, I went ahead and did my bronzer nothing really new there. For blush, what I did was a combination of, um, oh my gosh, what did I do with it? It's right in front of my face. NARS Orgasm with this Thrive Triple Threat Color Stick. And this is the shade Kaisa. How would you pronounce this, babe? K-A-I-S-A. Is it Kaisa? Kaisa? K-A-I-S-A. Kaisa? 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 This is stunning y'all and it's so good for the latte look. So what I did was I just, here I'll do a little bit more just so you can see it. So I popped it on the back of my hand and then I took it on my fingertips and just tapped it in. 
and it's like, it's a really beautiful blush nude. So it's like, you're still getting that. I, I didn't want to do too nude of cheeks because then it's going to look like I just am really heavy handed on the bronzer. You know what I mean? I still wanted some blush. So I think that turned out beautiful. Um, filled in my brows, all the huge. I would have to say that summer of 2023, the best makeup find that I have found is this Sorme Cosmetics Undershadow. I've talked about it a ton, a ton on Amazon Lives because I found it on Amazon. I want to say it was like 12 bucks or something. This is basically all it is is a primer, but it is the best primer I have ever used. Literally best. I have not just used it on myself. I've used it on, I did a bunch of makeup for um, a wedding back in June and everybody's makeup that I did, I, I used this as the base and every single one of them went and ordered it after the, the wedding because their eyeshadow lasted so well. I just do it lash to brow bone like that. And I'm telling you, your your eyeshadow will not budge. It won't budge, it won't smudge, it will not crease, it will not move at all. And honestly, I think it has cut down so much on my mascara leaving lash lines. So good. I'm gonna set the Sorme with a nude matte shadow. This is from my Be Cheerful eyeshadow palette from um, Shine Cosmetics, which I love. And this palette, obviously I love. Look, I've already hit pan on one of the shades, if not two. And so I'm just lightly dusting this over just to set this primer in place. For actual skin, I was using this photo of Hailey Bieber because I feel like that's a really beautiful latte look, but she's got just the tiniest bit of rosiness on the apples of her cheek, which is what I went with. Um, her makeup in this is a little bit too simplistic for me just because like she basically has nothing on her eyes, it feels like, just a tiny swipe of shadow and that's it, like barely any mascara. And girlfriend doesn't go that way, you know? For eyeshadow inspo, I wanna go like really smoky and sultry and just gorgeous like that. So I pulled out some of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury, 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 Tilbury um, palettes. Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize is one of my favorite. I feel like her, first of all, she, her stuff is just the best. I mean, like look at those shades. Don't they speak to your soul? So I already said it. And now I'm gonna go in and we're gonna smoke out those eyes just a tiny bit and we're gonna get some caramel in there. We're gonna get a little bit of, you know, like a darker tan and we're just gonna go latte. And I think that this shade right here is perfect for that. Which one is this one? This is the Luxury Palette of Pops um, in Pillow Talk. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. A lot of um, shimmers in this look. First I'm taking this middle shade right here in that same shine palette and I'm gonna deposit it right here on the outside corner of the eye windshield wiper over and then deposit right there. For this look, I'm taking that same shade and I'm gonna really go heavy handed on the lower lid, lower lash line, I mean, sorry, lower lash line, and kind of smoke that out because we wanna give like a really like kind of bedroomized look, you know? I can't tell how this is numbered. One, two, three, four. So I don't think it's smoke, I think it's pop. Pop? I don't know. I'm going to take this right here with a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. And I'm going to just deposit it with my fingertip onto my lid. Oh, look how pretty that combo is. It's like pinky nude. We're going to get rid of that pink though, and we're going to really tan it up here in a minute. Taking a matte brown, like super dark matte brown color on a slanted brush, and I'm just going to lightly go along, right along the lash line there. So I'm not trying to line too much. I'm just trying to give a little bit of depth, you know? Same shade, same brush. And I'm just taking the outside corner of the upper lid and I'm just gonna like flick it outwards. Like a really low key wing. You guys can see there, all with shadow. Like this is all completely a shadow look. No liner right here. It's looking good, it's looking good. I'm just taking this darkest shade right here tapping off any excess, you can kind of see it's right there. And I'm gonna, right on the line, I'm gonna just smoke it up to make my crease just a little bit darker. Mm-hmm, yup. And then we're gonna take a fluffy shader brush and we are just gonna blend it out, girl. Blend it, blend it. I'm taking this brush that I was using with the, the darker shade and I'm just gonna blend this out under here. I'm not picking up any excess. I'm literally just using it to kind of like get a messy blend under the eyes. Do you see what I mean? Like I, it's like a smoky, sultry latte eye. I'm digging it. 
Let me throw on some mascara and I'll be right back. I've got my eye, my mascara all done. We're gonna highlight a little bit. This is the Essence highlighter I've been using forever. And we're just gonna lightly dust because this is about a latte look. It's not about a highlighted look, you know? So just keep it like pretty basic. I'm gonna use the um, Thrive Brilliant Eye Brightener. And I have seen so many videos of this online, like so many, so I'm super excited to try it, but we're gonna brighten right here. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit here under the brow bone. Ooh, I really like this, y'all. It's really easy to keep a straight line with it, which is really nice, but yeah, I'm a fan. Okay, for our lips, let's line them up. I'm gonna do a combo here. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencils, which I just adore. Um, I've got BFF2 and Oh Snap. We're gonna do um, a combo of both. I'm gonna do the um, BFF2 first, and then I'm gonna overline with the Oh Snap. So as you can see, this is just a little bit too pink for the look that I've got going on. So I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna really blend that out. Not take it away, just blend it into my lip so that it's less noticeable. I'm gonna go back to the Thrive Cosmetics. This is the color stick. What shade did I say this was? Kaiza or whatever it is. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of this, kind of tone it down. A really beautiful pinky nude. Ooh, that's pretty. And now we're gonna get we're gonna get extra spicy here. We're gonna take a little bit, let's see, of this tanny nude shade. I'm gonna put it on my finger. I'm just gonna pop it on to get a shade to really match my eyes. Do you see how that kind of like it was a combo of the two? And then I'm gonna top it with some gloss. This is the Fenty um, Fussy Gloss. And I think this is like a shade that pretty much any woman should have in her arsenal because I feel like it's just so gorgeous. And I'm just gonna, okay. Final latte makeup look, and I had to, you know, do a little latte. If you want to get this, this top is just a little bit too high, but I wanted to show y'all dibs. Their bronzer sticks. Oh my gosh! Like just a little bit of like, oh, let's get a little bit of glow going. Yeah, girl. Anyways, I love this makeup look. I think that it's beautiful, especially for fall. It's gonna look great on anyone. It's easy to do, not a whole lot of steps, not a whole lot of precision. You don't need to be excellent with like anything to do this. Like you don't need to know how to do a wing liner if you don't want to. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Leave any comments or requests for videos that you have below in the comment section. And I'm back. <laughs> I'll see you next video. Au revoir.